Hey guys, so today we are making some stew peas and rice. So come cook with me now. time-consuming because it is but when we're done with this guys we have a little no ten finger so let me show you all the way we are used everybody use different different stuff you know for them stew pizza right some people use ox steel some use beef some use chicken foot you know along with whether pig tail if you eat pork or salt beef whichever we don't want to go it's just fine. So guys, may I tell you what I use today? Me eat pork, so may I use some pig tail, guys. Some turkey wing. It's smoked. So can I use smoked turkey wing or smoked turkey neck? May I use the wings? And may I use some pork neck bones? Guys. Remember, so you can always switch out some of these stuff for whatever you guys desire. It's absolutely okay. So, we're going to do this gradually, step by step, guys, to make it simpler. So, here's my peas. I'm using the, the, red, the red kidney beans. I washed them here from last night, guys, and I soaked them. But the container wasn't big enough, so it soaked up all of the, the water. So these are already clean. So what I'm going to do, I just put them on from the fire over there for, for cook. Then I'm going to wash my pigtail, guys. Wash out all of the salt, them out of them. And I think I use, need two packs, but... Make everybody in here love pigtail, so I'm gonna just use up the two. I'm gonna wash off the salt, them up, boil it a couple times. I now put no limit on it as to how much I boil it. It depends on how salt it is. So I'm gonna boil up this in a one separate pot, throw off the water a couple times. I will still not want to take out all of the salt out of the pigtail because I eat, give the flavor, you know that. Then I'm gonna wash off these two and Boy, wash them off and put them with the peas. So that's what we'll be doing right now. So the first thing I do, guys, I, I wash them here. I make them go on scald off. We call it scald. So I'm going to stay with me now. All right, me soon when we come back. Maybe wash all of the meat them and come back to them. So guys, what we're going to do for now is over here, we already put on the peas. And guys, the peas don't going to take too long for cook. Some, some kidney beans take very long, but because I soak mine overnight, it's going to be easier to cook. I don't want to put a time on it because everybody's stove is different and it depends on the type of peas you have so i put that on first here's my washed smoked turkey wings i'm not gonna put this in yet because this don't take that long to cook and here's my smoked turkey neck bones so when my peas is halfway cooked i'm gonna be adding this stuff or i can even go ahead and add this now i may add this along with the peas and my pigtail is already on the fire so like i said previously i'll be boiling and throwing off the water and tasting the water as i go along to make sure i'm not taking all the salt out when i'm done with that i'll add it to my pot too but i'm not adding any seasoning right now i'm just basically going step by step so when we're ready to do all that i'll show you so right now i'm just gonna add this to my peas and leave this for later and guys some people do use 
coconut milk for their stew peas and some don't. Me personally, I like to use my coconut milk because I think it gives it that extra flavor that it needs. And we'll be having this with some jasmine rice. So, wanna follow me now? Wanna see it there, guys? We already added our peas and our pork neck bones. So, I'm gonna be covering this. And when I'm done boiling out my pigtail over here I'll be adding it to to this over here okay guys look at my thing it's coming along my peas is halfway cooked and I have added my pigtail which I boiled around four times because I didn't want to boil all the salt guys so right now what's in the pot is the pork neck bones which I did put that on with the peas and the uh, my pigtail so I didn't add any salt to this because the pigtail you guys is already salt and I don't want this to be too salty I want us to enjoy this meal so I will be going in like within the next half an hour and I'll be adding the smoked turkey wings I don't know about you all but do you like smoked meat in your stew peas comment in my comment section and let me know I know I do we're gonna move over here and I'll be showing you the seasoning that I'll be using to put in here when it's the appropriate time okay guys so the only thing as seasoning that I'll be using is scallions some thyme and I'm gonna put a whole pepper when the time is right and for my powdered seasonings I only be using a little bit of flavor enhancer in Jamaica we say season salt and I'll also be using some of this lorry season salt just a little bit to bring up the taste and some black pepper and here's my pimento grains so right now guys what I'll be doing is I'll be going over and I'll be adding my turkey wings because these don't take too long to cook and I'll also be adding my coconut milk at this time. And here's my dough that I mixed. We almost done cooking. I'll add these to the pot, which we call spinners. So for us in Jamaica, there's no stew peas without spinners. So wanna follow me over here, so now. So guys, first thing I'll be doing is stirring. And guys, don't forget, you have to keep going back and checking. And if you need more water, you add more. But always add hot water, guys. When I'm cooking, especially meat, I always have my kettle with my water waiting that if I need to add water so we keep the temperature in the pot. So I'll be adding more water now, only because I need it. And then my turkey wings. Then I'll be going ahead again and I'll stir. Here's my coconut. I'm adding this right now. And guys, by the way, this is my way. If you know another way, it's okay. And I'm willing to learn also a new way. So feel free to leave a comment in my comment section. And now I'll be adding some pimento grains. Then I'll be covering and testing my meat to see how tender it is. And at that point, when I know my meat is all cooked, I'll be adding my scallions and stuff like that. So stay with me, guys. So I'm gonna do now, guys. I'm gonna chop up them here. You can also put these in whole, but I prefer to chop them up. It's not gonna change the taste of it, whichever way you do it, but this is just my preference. The pepper I will not cut, I'm gonna put it in whole because we don't want it to be too spicy.
And guys, we're gonna make some simple little juice. We're gonna mix up some syrup with a can of um, fruit punch, Jamaican fruit punch, and just squeeze a little lime. I'm not doing, going too crazy today with the drink. Okay guys, look, I've been cooking now for over two hours. My pork neck bone is tender. The pigtail is getting there. My peas is fully cooked. So the, the turkey neck is, it needs a little bit more cooking, but at this time I'll be adding my seasoning. And I, no, if you notice, I added my pepper hole. So when you're stirring, just make sure you're not bursting the pepper. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my spinners. I'm adding these. They should be smaller, guys, but my kids like them bigger. I'll be stirring, guys, and tasting. Because I didn't add any powdered seasoning yet because I didn't want to make it salt. So now I'll be tasting and then I'll be adding a few stuff. Guys, I'll be adding a little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of this enhance the taste at this point I don't need any more water so if I do I have it over here my hot water waiting so I'll be covering this now and let it continue cooking okay guys so this is the juice that I made all I did with this guys was I used a can of Grace Fruit Punch and I used a little bit of syrup with like three limes. And I squeezed the limes and then I mix these, I combined these together to get this. So that's all I'm doing for juice today. This is just my lettuce that I washed. I washed it in this. And then here's my tomato. And this is what we'll be having a salad on the side. So follow me over here to the stove. Make a sewer with two peas, I don't know. You know come with me. You know, look here, my lovely people. Look how it's two peas. And you know, don't forget, don't lose the pepper. Because if you know, lose the pepper, you know, now go enjoy this. Because it's going to be too much spice. Right at this point, we are not adding any more water, guys. And literally, I've been cooking this thing for about three hours. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So some people's stew peas can take a shorter time depending on your meat, but mine, I didn't want it to burn, so I kind of turned it down on medium. So this is something you really have to monitor so it doesn't burn, especially how it has the coconut milk in it. So guys, all I'm doing now is letting this simmer. I'm not adding any more water, so just Turn your stove down and have a little bit of patience and you'll get the perfect stew peas. So I'm not adding nothing else to this guys. All this need to do is boil down a little bit and come down to like a nice gravy. Kind of on the thicker side. Not thick thick but you know what I mean. We don't want it this watery. This is watery. So I'm going to be tasting it and then adjusting my seasoning like my season salt if I need to if not all we're doing is simmering this guys this is fantastic I'm not adding anything it's perfect so when we come back I'll present this from my kitchen to yours okay guys and now we have come to the end of this video Guys, you know, see how me love, you know? Me stand up and cook this meal for you, no, guys. So if you never yet subscribe, you know, just come over and join my family, you know? Me and wait for you over here. You know, come now, come now, come now. Look on this, guys. It tastes amazing. Okay, guys? So, I'm hoping to enjoy this little video. And as always, guys, I love you all. Be safe. And I'll see you in my next video.